What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here. Today we're going to talk about hacking No Man's Sky. Now for those of you who just want cheats, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to go get the cheats quickly and just get rolling with that. For everyone else, I'm not going to make this a very long video because a lot of the stuff in this game is very standard, you know, values that you're searching for, just being floats and increased, decreased, very standard stuff. So I'm just going to go over some cool little script things. Uh, so anyway, for those of you who just want the cheats, the first thing that you need to do is go to CheatEngine.org, click Download Cheat Engine, and install it. Now when you install Cheat Engine, be careful because there's some stuff that it might try to install along with the base program. So read your installation prompts. All right. Um, so now that that's out of the way, once you get Cheat Engine installed, then what you want to do is, I'll have a link to this in the description below. This thread right here on the Cheat Engine forum, this is where everyone is collectively working on a cheat table to get all these different cheats working with No Man's Sky. So what you want to do is download that table. You'll click here and download it. Um, you might need to actually create a user name to download but that's not a big deal so once you get that done you've got cheat engine installed you've got your table what you'll want to do is um, wherever you saved your table you want to double click on it and then once that opens it'll open here in cheat engine the first thing you need to do is attach cheat engine to the game so that it knows what to do all this stuff with so you click this button here you look for nms.exe. You might see some numbers here before that. That's okay. If you don't see this in here for some reason, this button that says window list, click that. And then you should see uh, No Man's Sky. Nope, actually it's called application. <laughs> see right here where it says application. Um, so either application and window list or in process list, NMS. All right, this is probably the one you want to look for. So just double click it. And then it'll ask you if you want to keep the current code. Just say yes. All right, and now you are technically attached to the game. So when you want to enable any of these cheats, you just click in the little box next to it, and you'll see an X. It might take a minute for some of these to enable, depending on how fast or slow your computer is, so just be aware of that. Um, so all of the cheats are very self-explanatory. So one thing is like... Uh, see how the laser is tallying up there and it's going to overheat so you could do like uh where is it at here no overheat all right and now you can see that bar is not filling up and you can just do this all day every day all right so you've got unlimited health sprint blah 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 just play around with all this stuff and there you go that's how you have cheats in no man's sky um all right, so for everyone else who wants to stick around and, yeah, have some fun here. Um, this cheat table, of course, like whenever I get a game like this, I like to go through and do a bunch of stuff myself. Uh, most of the time, I don't even go look at any other tables or anything that have to do with that game because I'm interested in learning and making it happen myself. However, once I get to a point where I'm just like, all right, let me go see, like what someone else is doing you know someone like Zanzer or STN these guys are like pros you know so <clears throat> I'm always interested in seeing you know like there's stuff like unlimited health and unlimited ammo and things like that that any game hacker it's just instantly it comes to mind to do those things <laughs> so um, before I even came over here and looked at any of this I had uh, let's see No Man's Sky Yep. So in my cheat table, this is as far as I got. I spent just a little bit of time last night, the night before recording this video, of course, um, just doing these things here. So then I come in here, I see what's the same, I download their table, and yeah, this is a good way for you to actually learn to see how other people do things and add to your own skill set. So... The thing you don't want to do is steal someone's cheats. You know, that's just douchey. <laughs> so um, I don't advocate doing that whatsoever. But, like, let's see. So, like, Infinite Jetpack here, they have Unlimited Jetpack. So I'll open theirs. I'll open mine. And then see 
how close we were. Now, we can look at the code here and see that right here, the sub, that's where they're injecting. And that is probably what I found when I found the address and then I looked for the instruction that writes to the address, right? <clears throat> However, where they're just nopping the sub, um, I actually went up and went to this instruction and I changed byte 75 here because I did you know infinite jetpack minus 2 so I decided to inject here and I went from here to here right and I changed that to EB which is jump so I changed jump if not equal to jump always jump and there's this section of code here that it just completely skips so um, this is more like I was interested in reading through the code and trying to understand what all is happening through here this is like you know you see the sub instruction just knop the sub and you're not gonna have to worry about it you know what I mean so effectively achieving the same thing however mine what I've done could have more ramifications because if this code is used for other addresses then if I'm changing this to a jump to always skip this section of code then that will presumably affect whatever else you know so you might not always want to do something like that but that was the change that I made personally and yeah um, however one hit kill this is the one that I'm the most interested in showing you so their one hit kill is um, pretty much what I've done for the most part before uh, you find the instruction that writes to health and then you try to find like max health and you move max health into a register and then you move that into current health that's pretty standard stuff you know what I mean quick and easy however what I like to do is any time that I can avoid allocating memory and jumping to somewhere else I just I like to do that it's starting to become an OCD thing for me <laughs> Uh, in addition to something else that I'm going to show you. So, um, yeah, so let me, did I open my one-hit kill? Here we go, one-hit kill. All right, so that's theirs. With mine, what I did was, let's just go ahead and copy this. Um, attached to the game here, I'm going to do an AOB. And... I'm going to show you what happens here. And it's similar with the change that I decided to make. Alright, so actually, no, wait. One hit kill. Okay, one hit kill. I'm sorry, one hit kill. I just changed the register. I looked to see what was in the contents of the registers. And it turns out that an ECX instead of EAX. Um, so basically this byte that I changed changed this instruction to add ECX to here and the way the game works is it takes enemy max health and adds it and that's what ends up killing well enemies items like trees and weird rocks and whatever in the game that you're breaking with your laser you one hit kill all of that stuff so instead of allocating memory I went ahead and did a break and trace and changed that register because I saw what was contained in ECX, which was the same as max. So that's the one hit kill. The one I wanted to show you was infinite resources. So this is actually infinite mining resources, this percentage over here in the game. So with theirs, they have what is it unlimited laser beam I think they might have put it into there unlimited laser beam EAX MM0 sub that yeah okay so that's what it was so what they did is they just knocked out this sub so they did their jump based on here because 
a jump requires five bytes. So they started it here, one, two, three, four, and then five, then you'll have two knopped bytes um, if you were going to write a code injection. But with this, they just did the AOB scan and then plus four, one, two, three, four on the fourth byte, they nopped those three. So they nopped the sub. So what that's going to do is successfully keep this from decreasing, right? So you'll have infinite resources. However, this is the OCD thing where, like, not having 100% here was, like, driving me crazy. <laughs> so I wanted to figure out how could I change this, right? So what I decided to do is this is a convert. This instruction here is a convert. So this is actually where I want to go in the disassembler. So I'm going to copy, new scan, paste. And once it pops up here, all right, right click, disassemble this memory region. Now, here, this convert, okay, you can see scalar, single, FP to sign, blah, 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 blah. Basically, this turns a float into an int32. <clears throat> and so, you know, XMM0, you're taking the value out of there, converting it, and storing it in EAX. Then you're subbing. EAX from whatever's here. And that's what they did. They nopped the sub. However, since I wanted to nop the sub, we know that we have these three bytes to work with, right? Pointless. This conversion here, you can go down and try to ascertain, all right, well, what happens with EAX after here? Because EAX might still be needed for something, so you don't want to necessarily screw with this. Well, here we see there's a move of four into EAX. So, this convert happens right here, then the subtraction happens, and then this 4 is moved into EAX. So if we don't want the sub to happen, this instruction is effectively pointless as well, because EAX has changed right here. So what does that do for us? That gives us 7 bytes to work with. 7 bytes to do something that we want to do. So what I decided to do was change these two instructions to, let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, attach, I hope this isn't going to screw anything up by having both of these attached. Yep, keep the code list. This is infinite resources. All right, so if we watch this, you'll see these two instructions change. All right, so it changed to move C8, which is a value of 200, into RBX plus 18. Now I'm going to disable this. And look here, the sub, we know the sub originally is subtracting EAX from RBX plus 18. So RBX plus 18 has the memory address related to the resources needed, right? So what I wanted to do was move a value that I you know, after playing around with the values, saw that this was the max value, this 200, wherever I saw that at. Um, oh yeah, once we make the change. So basically, I make my cheat write 200. It moves 200 into our address there. So basically, not only am I nopping the sub instruction, so the sub isn't going to happen, but all that's happening now is we're moving this value directly into that address. So now all I got to do is come in here and start firing, and it's at 100%. So I don't know if that ends up changing later, you know, maybe the resources that increases, and so suddenly writing this particular byte isn't going to continue to work. So you know, that's the stuff that, like, unless you really spend some time using your cheats with the game and provisioning for everything that you could possibly run across, you might have stuff like that change down the way. But anyway, this is more of, like, uh, showing you how to do, like, direct byte manipulation. And if you understand exactly what your instructions are doing and you follow them down, then you can try to decide, like, 
how many bytes do I have to work with to do some kind of cheat that I want to make happen? You know, it's completely pointless to have this 100%. I just wanted to see that nice, neat 100%. <laughs> Nopping the sub instruction works perfectly for just making the cheat happen, you know. So anyway, that's just a quick little, you know, thing there. Um, and you know what, while we're at it right now, well, no, nah, I'm going to save that for another video. I have a ton of cheat tables from a bunch of different people on the Cheat Engine forum who are amazing game cheaters. And um, probably in the next video, what I'm going to do is run through and, um, you know, we're going to take a look at some of their tables and see, like, what they do differently and how you can learn from that. So there's a lot of valuable information there that will help you out. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you watched this far and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Check out some other videos. I have a ton of Cheat Engine videos. Also, um, go check out my Facebook page where I cover way more than just game hacking. I like to focus more on reverse engineering as well and basic sort of like core computing concepts that I think would help help you learn. So go check that out. And uh yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.